In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an 808 kick using Synth Master 1. Now, an 808 is a bass note playing a saturated sine wave with one and sometimes even two pitch envelopes sweeping downwards. Now, I'm going to start off first of all by creating a saturated sine wave, but I'm going to do it in a much more interesting way. I'm going to choose a wavetable mixing between a sine and a square. It goes from being a sine to a square, just like distortion. And so I could use envelope two to modulate this wavetable position called wave index. Notice the visual feedback showing how far through the wavetable this is modulating. Set a plucky envelope shape. In fact, I'll make this more obvious at first. Hear how it now starts off closer to that square wave, effectively distorted and then fades away back to that sign. Much more interesting than a static oscillator. So I can dial this into taste. and apply some normal distortion too. Adding in additional low and mid frequencies, thickening it up and making it much more audible when listening through smaller speakers. Now, next I'll define the amplitude envelope for this oscillator. Again, a plucky shape. Tweaking the decay curve, making it more linear. And then the pitch envelopes. First of all, a very fast envelope sweeping down in pitch, giving it punch. For this, I can use mod envelope one and assign it to pitch. Notice now the punch as I increase the amount. Additionally, sometimes you'd have a second pitch envelope too, but this time modulating again down, but this time very slowly. Now, since I'm not using oscillator two, I can use Amp envelope two for this. Assign it to pitch, but this time noting the direction of this envelope. I want to set the amount in a negative direction. As I want the pitch to go down so it falls away. As with most things, subtle T tends to work best. Two more steps. First of all, these will be easier to play if the envelopes are in one shot mode. Maybe ease back on that slow envelope just a touch. And finally, just a touch of reverb, the tiniest amount. So 
so it sounds better through headphones, but not adding so much reverb that it causes rumble, which while it's sometimes been desired normally, you don't want your 808s to have a rumbly low end. And there you have it, an 808 kick. Thanks for watching.